Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to give the text a neon effect using CSS. So let's start. I already created index.html page and style.css. Currently it is blank. So first I will just create a div to just align the text into, into the center. I will just give a class center and then inside this h1 and then I will give neon text. Let me open in the browser. I will just adjust the screen. Okay, okay, cool. <coughs> now we want to give this simple text the neon effect on glowing effect. So Let's go to the style.css. First, I will provide the styling to the body. Let's give the margin and padding zero, padding zero, and background color is little black. Okay, now it's time to give the styling to the div, div to align to the center. Center. Position. Absolute. Top margin 20%. Left. 20%. Now it's time to give the styling to the text. First, uh, I will just give the class to the H1 for which we want to apply the neon style. You just make I will call it a class neon. You can give it any name. I will just call it neon. And then here, dot neon. First, I will just provide a color. Here we go. Now I will just provide a font size 100 pixel. Oops, it's too large, I think. Yeah, it's okay. Now it's time to. We will be okay. So we will gonna do apply this uh, give a neon effect to this text by using a text shadow property. Okay. So you can apply it, give a shadow to the text. We will just give a plain shadow, text, shadow. This is the offset x and zero. I will give zero. Offset y, I will give zero. The third parameter is the blur, radius blur. Okay. So you can see, and the fourth parameter is the color. So I will just want the for shadow should be white. Okay, it's here we got the text shadow. If you want to the radius, blur radius, so I will just 10, it will be expand, the shadow will be expanded. So I will just give the 5 pixel. Now, to make this the effect of glowing or neon effect, you we have to apply multiple text shadows. So you should you, you don't have to just make this text shadow multiple but just make after each parameter is shadow parameter we can apply multiple parameters multiple shadows just apply comma and then second shadow you can give as much shadows you want okay so we are given a first shadow now it's time for the second shadow so for second shadow, I will give so, uh, offset uh, x0, offset y0, and blur radius 10 pixel. Then again color white. Here we go. We got the second shadow. Now it's time to apply third shadow. Again, I will give offset x0, offset y0, and blur radius 20 pixel. Now it's time to give the color of that glowing view we, we, we want. So now we will just apply the pink 
color the code is ff0080 save it here we got we got the first neon shadow now we will apply again more shadows to make it the to give it the effect of the glowing or neon so comma again offset x 0 offset y 0 then I will give the radius 30 pixel and then color we'll just copy and paste because we want every shadow we will now will have the same color but just different radius and offsets we got the second shadow it's time for the fifth shadow but that but the third pink shadow and then overall fifth shadow now again we will just make it offset 0 offset x0 offset y0 and then blur radius 40 pixel this this will create a bigger shadow okay now just copy and paste that color we got the now we have to apply we are, we are going to apply another shadow this time we will create another bigger shadow okay so 0 offset x0 offset y0 and 55 pixel and then color we got and now we will just create another one more shadow to make it more glowing effect so 0 offset y0 and this time another 75 pixel shadow here we go you can change the color you can customize it as you want just because there is no limitation that how much shadows you want and you can create multiple color shadows because one shadow you can do that you can do one shadow is of another color and one shadow is of green okay so if you not to not subscribe to my channel yet please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to like this video and comment this video thanks for watching